What is going on beautiful people? I am Lee Hammett, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how narcissists and toxic people lie by leaving things out. Lying by omission is still lying, y'all. Stay tuned for more, like and subscribe for more. Thank you. Ah, I had such a good time with my friends last night. They, I, I needed that break. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you had fun. You, so, it was just your friends there, right? Yeah, it was just, it was just my, just my friends. Like, why, why you say it like that? What's wrong with you? None. One of your friends sent me a picture, and your, your ex was there with you. Wow, there's some dirty. Wow, I have a dirty friend. Like, wh which one was it? it? Doesn't matter which one it was. You purposely left out the fact that your ex was there. It absolutely does matter who it was because I don't want people around me who are going to be you know, who I can't trust. Wow, people you can't you can't trust to, t to tell me stuff, the important stuff? Yes, exactly. I want to keep my circle tight and things like that. And I also feel like you're overreacting right now. How am I overreacting? You purposely left out the fact that your ex was there. You said, my friends. You didn't say my ex was there too. I knew if I told you that, you would get worried, you know what I mean, and, and tr try to ruin my night. Just admit you lied to me. I did not lie to you. I just left that part out. I did have fun with my friends. So welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So y'all, I y'all know I have to add some humor and some levity to my skits. I just have that, like y'all. That's if you know, if if you've been following me for any type of time period, you know I just add comedy and humor to my stuff just to make it palatable. So in this skit right here, you know what I mean. It, it, just to show you examples, because I could tell you a story all day. I could just come come at you from an intellectual perspective, or a psychological perspective, or bring you or read out of a textbook. But showing you these stories help you. Showing you these skits help you real life examples. Oh, they, they can be a little funny. I put stuff in my head and things like that. But as you can see in this video, like in the skit I just did, like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The narcissist knows that you know something is up. That's why they, they like a lot of narcissistic people are good at reading um a lot of narcissistic people are good at reading micro expressions and your energy so if your if your tone of voice changes they can pick up on it you know and they they lie by leaving things out they, they knew they that narcissist knew that you knew it's like why are you saying it like that oh i just i know you had fun with you out out and about but you didn't tell me your ex was there and the narcissist like every time i tell you things like that i knew it would upset you so i left that part out it's not a lie i told you the truth i just didn't leave i left that part out on purpose so y'all lying by leaving things out on purpose is absolutely lying lying by omission is still a damn lie i don't care what you what y'all y'all can try to combat me on that one but purpose purpose like lying by, by omission and lying without no like i said there's a difference between omission and mis misrepresentation like the nar let, let's just say the nar like you like <laughs> lying by leaving things intentionally leaving things out is 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 is, is, is hurtful. If they didn't know the X was going to be there and they didn't they didn't see the X or interact with the X, that's different. But if they knew the X was going to be there and they purposely didn't tell you, that's a lie. That's lying by omission. You see what I'm saying? Like if they went out and about if they went out to a big party and their ex was there and they had no idea that what that the ex was going to be there, they didn't see the ex, they didn't interact with the ex, they didn't know the ex was there, that's different than just seeing the ex interacting with the ex and then just not telling you. You see what I'm saying? Like so I just feel like so yeah, just watch out for that one. But that part in this skit right here, it's absolutely a lie. Is absolutely just willful, willfully omitting that information. You mean it's a, absolutely a lie? Then the narcissistic people will do this all the time. Toxic people will do this all the time. Leave out important bits they know that they know will upset you or make them look bad or a combination of both. Yeah, you know, they know they they know if they told you that they were out with their ex and their ex was there and they had a good time with their ex who you've been worried about who, to, who you told them to cut off. They knew that you would get mad. So yeah, they, told, they told you the truth about going out, but they left out the part about the ex. They will leave stuff out. Willful, oh, yeah, I'm just telling you. It's, a, it's, a, it's still a lie. And they do this all the time. My comment section is blowing up with people just, oh my God, this is my ex. This is my mom. This is my dad. They will leave things out all the time. Just to protect themselves. Narcissistic people like myself are self-serving -ser self people. We're going to serve ourselves first. We're going to protect our egos first. We're going to do what it takes to you know, leverage ourselves, make sure we come out on top first. 
so I can go out and have a good time with my friends. I told you about that part, but my ex being there, I knew they would upset you. I knew that they were going to be there. I probably didn't invite you because I knew they were going to be there. You see how all that comes together. They, like I said, if you keep allowing them to lie by omission, then you're going to be in a toxic situation for a very, very long time because they told you a little bit of the truth because that's true. I, I did tell you a little, I did tell you some truth that I, I did have fun with my friends or they'll flip it and just say the, the ex was a friend. The ex is my friend. Now we're friends. Now you don't have friends. You're not friends. It's your exes. You're crazy. All my, sorry, sorry, sorry. All my relationships don't end terribly. I can still be friends with my ex. You, just, you notice I'm looking to the side and things like that as well. So if you continue to be in a relationship with somebody that lies by omission, you're going to be, uh, they'll never tell you the full truth. You'll never get the full truth. You never know when to believe them or when they're leaving things out. And they will condition you to believe that lying by omission is not a lie. I told you most of the truth. And look, I, and they'll try to make it seem like, especially in that skit right there, they try to make it seem like it benefits you. They will make it seem like leaving the things out, the, the lying by omission, they will try to make it seem like it's benefiting to you. Like I lied to you because I knew you would get mad and have a bad, it would ruin your day and my day as well, but it would ruin your day. So I left that part out. I did have fun with my friends. I didn't do anything else. I just left that part out because I didn't want to ruin your day. I didn't want to ruin your night. I didn't want you to worry. I didn't want you to have trust, your insecurities or your trust issues to bubble to the surface. They will make it seem like their omissions are beneficial to you. I left this part out because it benefits you. It benefits us. I'm just telling you, that's how I like, that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the inner workings of a narcissistic person's brain. You can choose to accept it or you can choose to not accept it, but narcissists and toxic people, we're going to continue to do it like that. That's the crux of it right there. We're going, they're, they're just going to keep lying to you. They lie for no reason. But like I said, lying by omission, that's, that's, a, that's a plan. Like, that's kind of worse. That's, that's, you know, that's, it's kind of, it is worse. I mean, it's almost worse than just a normal lie because they, they intentionally are misleading you. They're trying to get you to trust them more by telling you the truth, a little bit of the truth, you know, but leaving out the part that they'll, they know, this is the minor part of the story. It's a, ma it's a minor part in their story, but it's a major part in your story. So lying by omission benefits the narcissist greatly, but they'll make it seem like it's beneficial to you. You know, oh, I didn't know how much money was. In it. I knew we had a bank account. I didn't know how much money was in it. I knew we had a bank account. I knew we had a car. I didn't know. The, I didn't. I did, it's whatever the whatever the lie is. They omitted. They omitted an important part of it to protect themselves, not to protect you. I need to make that clear. Is they lied to protect themselves, not to protect you. It's not beneficial to you for them to be lying by omitting things out. I hope that makes sense. It's not, it doesn't benefit. How does that benefit you in any way with them, for them to lie and leave things out? They'll make it seem like it's beneficial to you, but there's no benefit to you with them lying to leaving things out. You know? So lying by omission, willful omission is still a lie. Or they, sometimes they make it seem like they forgot to tell you, they, they forgot to increase that part. You mean, oh, I forgot that part right there. I forgot that, uh, I, I forgot that they were there. Oh, sorry, I forgot about it. That's still a lie because they, for, they, for, they conveniently forgot to tell you the part that it would upset you. Again, that's still omission. That's still a lie. Y'all be forget, keep on forgiving people for that. I know it's I know it's manipulation. I know it's gaslighting, whatever. But if you keep on forgiving them for that, they're going to keep doing that. I promise you. But anyways, let me hop over this thing, y'all. Live in person meet and greet, Austin, Texas, uh, October the fifteenth. Still doing my one on ones over Zoom. If y'all interested in the link, link is in the bio. Thank y'all for tuning in. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.